Okay, in this video by popular demand, I'm going to show you how to advertise uh, the 90 day internet income challenge with a really cool graphic. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do that on Backpage. Now, if you click on home over here, you're going to go back to the Craigslist uh, options in the Craigslist video on how to do that. I'm just going to do the same thing. It's a little bit different when you want to do it on Backpage. Okay, so the video I'm recording is right here. You just get to watch that and you get to see exactly step by step how to do this. Take your time, watch the video, pay attention, do exactly as I do and you'll have no problem. Okay, so let's continue with the instructions. First, download this image which is below. This is an image, okay, and just click here to download it and it will download as a zip file. You'll notice that it says zip at the end. That means it's compressed and um, you'll notice the file name is 90 underscore day underscore internet obviously uh, income challenge all with underscores. Okay so if you download this file and save it and you forget where it is, that's your own fault. It's right here. It's the 90 Day in Internet Income Challenge 2 zip. You can do a search for that on your hard drive. But my guess is it's going to be in the downloads folder in your My Documents. Okay, so it might be on your desktop. So pay attention. Learn where your computer stores things because you tell it what to do. Okay, become a master of your computer, not be a slave to your computer. It's a big difference. So save the file 90 day internet income challenge dot zip to your computer. Okay. And then you'll have to unzip it by simply double clicking on the zip file. It'll open up a folder and inside will be the image. Okay. So if you have any problems with this, you need to get with your sponsor or do a search on YouTube on how to unzip a zip file. Okay? Be resourceful. You can do this. This is a little homework. It's not hard. Trust me. So I'm not going to save that file. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel because I already have it on my computer. Okay? But you're going to notice it's going to look very much like this. It's a little bit bigger than this version. This is a little smaller. Okay? So I want to give you a bigger version. It looks really nice. It, it converts and works very well. Trust me. Okay? Not 100%, but very well, okay? So I have that picture, that download, already on my computer. You need to get it on yours. That's why you need to download it, okay? So once you download it, it'll be a zip file. Unzip it. If you can't figure that out, watch a YouTube video, okay? It's not that hard. And then when you get the image, I want you to bring it up on your computer like I'm about to do. I have it in my pictures folder, and you'll see right there. Alright, so I'm going to double click that and open that up. Okay. And there is that beautiful image and you'll notice that it's much bigger. Okay. It's a lot bigger. Okay. It looks beautiful. Okay, so you need to have that image ready. Now, next is to download Jing. Jing will allow you to take a screenshot and then you can send your image to the internet for free. It'll store it on the internet. You must have an image on the internet for this whole procedure to work. So use Jing, just click here, and I take you right to it in a new tab. Notice that you're still on the website here, but you're opened up in a new tab. And over on the right hand side is a free download. It's completely free. And again, what Jing does it allows you to take screenshots, which is capture an image of an image is what you see on your computer screen. You're capturing an image of an image that you see on your computer screen and it uploads it to the internet. Okay, so in my case, this picture is on my hard drive. I need to get it to the internet. Okay, so I have Jing running. It's up in the top of my menu. Okay. And you may have it running. It looks may look like a sun, and you want to use the capture option. Okay, you'll get these little crosshairs. See these little crosshairs? They kind of guide you on what you're selecting. Okay, 
So um, what I want to do is grab the whole image. Now it's really easy if you just click once. Just click once. Click. And the crosshairs go away and you've got the image. Now I need to adjust it so I'm going to go right up here. See how the, the icon changes? And that allows me to drag down and you can see the colored part is what I'm selecting and the black and white is what I'm not selecting so obviously let's include the colored part okay now that looks beautiful and just the colored area is what I'm selecting okay of the image looks beautiful if you had to you could move over to the other side and maybe you want to crop in I don't know you can do whatever you want but it looks good right there okay so learn to use your tools and move your mouse around just to get that icon see it's slightly different if you're just off be precise okay it's not hard master your computer you are the master not it okay now when you get it precisely aligned you will come down to capture an image this far left little icon right here just click once and voila it just took a screen capture of that image Okay, and it's the same size, it's just fitting in this window, but it's the same size. Okay, now you don't have to do any fancy arrows, I've already done that. It says click here right in the center, looks beautiful, looks like awesome, okay, very professional. Now all you need to do is send that to the internet, okay. To do that, click the little left three arrows that says share via screencast. Now the name of the file does not really matter, doesn't really matter at all, okay? So you can leave it with the date and whatever it puts at the end, that's fine. Okay, that's the file name, that's fine. Click here once to send it to the internet via screencast.com. Click once and you'll see it's preparing and uploading to screencast.com automatically. Okay, you don't even have to do anything. It's awesome. Okay, there it is. It's uploaded to Screencast. You took a picture, a, a snapshot, a screenshot, and you put it online. So click on view screencast.com. Click right there once. There's your image. Okay, brand new up on the internet. Now, this is just a small representation you want to see it full size you can do so okay but you really need to click on the image to get what's called as an image link and it's long it's this is short so click once on the image and you'll see it a very long link that's what you need okay don't need it right now let's go back and do a couple other steps so remember you got Jing and it's running maybe up in your menu up in the top or somewhere else you want to capture something okay so I'm done with Jing I'm gonna close that this is my image I'm gonna go back to the challenge ads okay so we've just gotten Jing we've taken a screen screen shot and we uploaded the image okay now we're ready to go to back page so I have a handy dandy link called back page handy dandy click once it'll open up to back page now there's very likely that if you're not a member of back page you need to sign in okay now I'm gonna go ahead and place an ad okay so I'm gonna click on post an ad and um, there's a couple different categories what you want to go to is services so click once on services okay and then click on business opportunities it's probably the best category so click once there now there's a lot of cities within back page just like Craigslist um, so you can pick different states different cities now I'll pick maybe Denver okay it doesn't really matter okay so this is the screen that you will use that you will come to and, and I'll show you how to create your ad okay so we have tab number one we have some code for HTML code for the image okay 
Now right here, if you notice, image link, actually entire image link. It's the best thing I could think of to tell you to put the entire image link right there. Okay, so your image is your uploaded image. Make sure you see this big image. Make sure you see a long web address. Okay, and make sure it's selected. Okay, if it's not selected, just uh, click it, triple click it sometimes, or just select it with your mouse. But, or another way is right click, select all. Nails it every time. Make sure that link is highlighted blue. Then move your mouse right into the blue selection, right on it. Okay, right click and choose copy. Okay, copy that link. Don't type it in, copy it. Okay, so now I have that in memory. I can go right back to my back page and I can come right down here and double click on entire image link. Okay, if you mess up, double click. See how it highlights it in blue? Every time, double click works every time. You don't want to mess up the double quotes at the beginning and at the end. So double click works every time. Once you get it selected in blue, remember you have your image link in memory. Right click, put your mouse right on the blue and choose paste. Now it's going to put the entire image link right there and it's going to look really long. Okay. That is the entire image link. It's really long. It should end with PNG, by the way. And it should start with HTTP. That's, that's the hardest part. That's really not that hard. Now, Backpage doesn't particularly like My Partner in Profit. If you use a My Partner in Profit link, they're going to they're gonna, uh, void your, your ad. They're going to block it. Okay, so you can't use a my pip affiliate link so I have a solution right here is your forward domain your forward did domain okay I have the whole link right here you're gonna have to get your forwarded domain and put it in there okay now what's a forwarded domain something like win with chase dot com okay that's a forwarded domain. I, I, I bought the domain winwithchase.com. When you go there, you'll see this page. So it's forwarded and it goes to my affiliate link. Notice that is my affiliate link. So winwithchase.com will forward to my partner in profit, to my affiliate link. Okay? So all you got to do, you have to have a forwarded domain. Okay, so I'm going to go in here because I've already copied my domain. It's a little harder. You can't do a double click. It's kind of a mess. A mess. So you have to select here, come across from HTTP to .com. Leave the double quote and leave the double quote right there. Once you get this selected, right click and choose paste if you copied your domain. Okay. There. Oops, it didn't quite do it, didn't it? So I need to put HTTP. Okay. Make sure you have HTTP. You can also, mine doesn't need it, but you can put www. Okay. Make sure you have your forwarded domain. And you know, if you don't, if you're not sure, copy it. Open it up in a new tab. Paste and go. And it should go to your affiliate link. See how that worked? Perfect. Okay. I'll go ahead and close this tab. Now I know we've been doing a lot in this video, but just bear with me and pause this as needed. So the only thing you have to do is get your forwarded domain right there. And then you get your uh, link to your image, the entire image link. And that was right here. See how this works? It's not that hard. Okay. Now, grab all of this. Okay. Best way to do it, put your mouse right in this content. Right click, choose select all. And it'll highlight all blue. It's perfect. Then put your mouse in the blue. Don't do it over here. Crying out loud, that doesn't work. You've got to be in the blue selection. 
in the blue selection right click and choose copy this will copy all the HTML code then you'll need to find your back page tab okay and in the description you can choose paste okay and it's going to put your forwarded domain and the image link in that that HTML code perfect okay now you need a title and I think I have put some yep I have some unique headlines you know if you're advertising in Dallas you could put something like that and the stars are catchy eye-catching little uh, symbols okay so pick a cat pick a headline and if you like best home business in Sacramento and you're advertising in Denver think about it you can change that I'm just gonna copy that Go right back to my bis my back page tab, paste that in. Now remember, I'm advertising Denver, okay? So I'm kind of making the the ad relatable. So I'll put Denver, Colorado. Kind of cool, all right? Don't worry about bold or italic or underline. That this is HTML code. It'll look beautiful, okay? Now with back page, you can put a like a location, like a city or whatever. I don't need to do that. Uh, you don't need to do a map. Um, you need to put your um, email address. Okay, so I'll just use that one. It remembered it, and I'll confirm it. Okay, put your email address. That's all you have to do. Leave all these settings the same. Okay, don't worry. You already have an image. Don't worry about uploading uploading it. I don't pay to repost. If you want to, I guess you can and all this stuff I just come right down to continue okay because I want to post a free ad click continue and if you have done it correctly you're gonna see a beautiful image just like that okay right there and this reply is if they want to email you that's part of the ad but it's got best home business in Denver Colorado and here it is now you want to do a test. You want to make sure that you got your affiliate link right. So click once and it'll open up in a new tab. And you'll see it went to your forwarded domain. Okay. So make sure you click once to test that it opens up in a new window or a new tab. It should open up in a new tab. Okay. So everything looks good. I need to go in and type. I'm going to zoom in. I can do that on a Mac. A C T O B E R A and set. Okay, I'll zoom back out. So um, that's the little capture, and I'll click Place Add Now. And back page does its thing. And it should be uh, posting that shortly. There it goes. Okay. All right. So they they may send you an email. Okay. Just to uh, make sure that you are a real person. Okay. Um, I may not have logged into my account. Okay. So um, I think I forgot to do that. So anyway, um, you can log into your G, uh, your email. And click the verification link okay um, and I can even log in here there we go and sign in I forgot to do that okay so sign in first well for whatever reason it's not logging in this does work I should have logged in at first but um, Go ahead and follow this. This video still will work. Follow it uh, step by step. S stop it. Pause it. Do a step. Come back. Watch the video. You'll be able to post an ad on on uh, back page with no problem. Okay. So thanks for your patience and uh, good luck with your ads on back page. <laughs>